Yo, man. It's going good right now, son. I got good lighting. I just got done listening to the code. Listen, man. You you always forget how big of a tard and fanboy you are of a series until you watch the openings and or endings, man. Listen, bro, I was listening to the Code Geass openings, and I was like, man, the memories are flowing. They're flowing inside. And I was like, man, it's go time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to continue the Toriko Awesome Sauce. Just in case if my sugar gets low and our Toriko makes me pass out of hype, I have an airhead because you never know what could happen whenever you're going through an experience of Toriko. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Toriko Chapter 358. It's called Creepy Neo Jesus After Last Week's Chapter. I don't know what to expect this week, but... Let's get right into this. Hopefully, we'll get the continuation of the awesome. Well, I'm, I'm going to assume we're going to get the continuation of the flashback, but uh, shout out to the Wold Man for telling me to uh, do this live reaction. We're in here, son. Let's get right into it. At the outer limits of the Milky Way. Jesus. <laughs> this is the universe's worst memory, the gourmet hole. The, bro, the, the, the black hole, is that a bone? Is that a bone up above the black hole? So even black holes are made up of food. Let me see, uh, G Gourmet 358 Creepy Neo, and then we see something very reminiscent to a spaceship from Dragon Ball in here. It actually looks pretty nice. We've arrived. I I'm going to assume that this is, this is a Neo. I mean, not the Neo, I'm sorry. Uh, the Nitro, the Nitro. The Nitro! Yeah, well, while well, this page uh, downloads, son, if you have not invested, if you are a Naruto fan and you have not invested in Naruto Storm 4, get on it. It's awesome sauce. I I, I love it. Absolutely. Whoa, this man has a beast design. Looking straight up like my boy from, uh, damn it, yo, what's, what's the manga? What's the manga? Ah, oh, dude. He has the area. Oh, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting. Damn it. Is is it is it from Beelzebub? Uh, who 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 does this guy remind me of? The, the, this type of hairstyle, the, this this blue, this first blue match right here. Who does this dude remind me of? Man, I hate when I forget things. It'll come it'll come back to me eventually, and then I'm gonna end up getting mad, and I'll write it in the description. Now we can awaken from their cryptobiosis. Gourmet Noble Blue Nitro, man. He's looking beast, son. He got the head, man. He's going on. He's, play, he's playing some Call of Duty. You feel me? He's in there. Well, so this is the red universe. And here we see a whole bunch of nitro surrounding him. Hey, these guys are savages. It's kind of dark out, though. I can't really see anything. It's gourmet matter. We probably can't see it unless we eat the food of this world. There's no sign of his supposed endless appetite, either. Are you, are you sure he escaped into this area? Neo, that is. Oh, man, we see one of them, you know, with, with the little glasses on. He's looking over to the side, giving the Sakamoto stare. That's pretty cool. Most certainly. Look carefully. Let's see. This area's already been torn through ru ruthlessly. God almighty. These are the same nitros that are taking on um, uh, 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 Jiro right now, right? Because a lot of them look very similar. Here we go. Even the, even the smell of rot is drifting in the air. Dude, look at these planets, man. They, they all got just completely eaten, wiped out. I'm telling you. Which is a genius for, for what he's doing here because all these planets do not have life because Neo already sucked the life out of them. That's genius. That's, that's amazing. Because it, it kind of correlates with like a conspiracy theory that you could actually come up with in real life. And it's and it's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's just like our world. The planets left in his wake don't even have the faintest sound of life left. There are also traces of battles all around as well. Perhaps we might have... Perhaps he might have died a few times. Anyway, let's investigate further. We'll need to search for survivors, if there are any, that is. Uh, he really is playing Call of Duty, because he said perhaps he might have already died a few times. It's time to respawn system in space. Let's get in it. <laughs> but Neil's victims didn't just c keep continuously gradually piling up over the years. For once every few hundred million years, Neil would disappear. Neil would disappear, but why? Whether it was getting caught in the great explosion of a supernova... It was sur Are you serious? It's surviving explosions from from supernovas? Come on now, bro. Or getting crushed in a battle against a superior race of warriors. Shout out to the Saiyans. Why does this guy right here look like Zebra? Whoa. Neo? The, this, the guy in the middle, uh, he kind of has like... He reminds me of Tengu. 
but he has a type of, of really, I don't know, he, he reminds me of a, of a combination of Zebra and Tengu. And we have the guy next to him rocking Satan hair. That, that is, that's Satan hair. That's, that is Satan hair! Superior, uh, uh, listen, uh, and I quote, we're getting crushed in a battle against a superior race of warriors. And the guy in the, in the background reminds me of, um, of the most recent thing in the Dragon Ball chapters. The, uh... The, the the being that's supposedly stronger than Goku. Like I, I always see that picture of where the the alien with his nipple sticking out. That's that's what that thing in the background reminds me of. But yo, this guy right here looks like a beast. He has spikes sticking out, man. Looking like a combo of Tengu and Zebra. He's looking beast. He's looking beast. But this guy right here to the left, you can't do this. I mean, no, I, I keep saying new. I apologize. I I I I I'm disrespecting him. Don slime, all right. That the Don, ladies and gentlemen. I, I I don't I don't know I don't know why I said Neo. I I, I have Neo's that word stuck in my head for some reason. I mean, it's because name of the chapter. But haha, man, what a haul! The villagers will be overjoyed. And then here we see uh, this random dude. Oh, I, I'm going to assume it's about to do something with Neo here. And all we see is a whole bunch of bodies just piled up. Not even bodies. Whole, yeah, 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 a whole bunch of bodies of many, many different creatures. He's just looking up. So he's about to bring back food for everybody. Oh, and they got they all got annihilated. We already know who it is. But has, has Neo's appearance changed, I wonder? Ah, ah. Yeah, he's, he's crying. The nightmare. It hadn't ever ended. Oh, my. Oh, snap it. He's right behind him. Neo's right Oh, <laughs> Neo's about to get him. Ah, oh, it's over. He's dead. He's dead. He's pretty much dead, yo. It's like it's like a scene in one of those movies. More life, more flavor, more cries, more despair, more, 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 more. And first of all, this reminds me of a Tokyo Ghoul type of of insanity scene. Uh, if you if you read Tokyo Ghoul, especially read or towards the end of the original Tokyo Ghoul, you 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 know what I'm talking about. But this kind of scene right here reminds me of like those classic horror movies to where it shows like the blur of oh let's just say like there's like a little girl and she's reading a book, right? And out of nowhere just random dude like like let's just say Michael Myers also behind knife in hand blur and right behind him it's like you you're yelling at him like save yourself but they can't do it they don't know they're right behind him. They look behind him like ah like it's one of those classic things. But this guy Neo Neo he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Look and the funny thing is, is that Neo, after last week's chapter, I would expect him to at least wait. To at least wait until he turned around to see Neo, scare the living hell out of him, get the dopamine out of his brain, and then he eats him. But no, Neo doesn't care. Obviously, he's had enough of that shit. He ate, uh, basically, the entire planet, alright, uh, filled, with, filled with bodies, and then he came in there, he saw the crying and emotion, he was like, hmm, this is, must be something new. And he ate the some bastard. Didn't even give him a chance to look back. So, hey, look, and he's over here, he's like, more, 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 yeah, you gotta, you gotta give it up to Neo, man, I gotta give it up to Mitsutoshi for this, for this amazing uh, narration, though, uh, after that, Neo vanished for a while, and then after a few hundred years passed, those, are these vol volcanoes with, yo, hold on, what's that, hmm, at last we found one, a survivor, hey, they're over here on the fields, they're on the fields. Hey, shout out to Vinland Saga, man. Farming arc, one of the greatest arcs I've ever read. And then here we see the nitros. They're gathering. Yeah, they, they, these are definitely the the gourmet nobles from um that that are fighting uh Jiro right now. That's for damn sure. This guy has a beast design. I don't know what it is because he has hair, right? And then he has his little thing right here, randomly of a Dragon Ball type of suit. But it's his hair, yo. Who does he? <gasps> I think he reminds me of Dude Haiku. Oh man, dude. I th I think I think that's what it is. Damn it. Where does that hairstyle remind me of? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember where it reminds me of. I apologize. I really do not remember what that hairstyle reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. Wow, and there's still a decent amount of them here. I guess the, the troll types really are superior. The troll types. It isn't <laughs> the troll types. We found a planet with a great environment and a solar system near here. Starting now, we're going to prepare and cook and cook that planet. Oh, snap. That's the Earth. Oh, my. All of you are going to uh, all of you are going there to work on it. This is in order, and he looks serious. And I love what Mitsutoshi did there with the uh, type of shadowing. It, it was it really really looks nice. Really looks nice. Next page, come on, manga. All right, let me see. And and that was when the blue. Ni oh shit! That was when the blue nitro made us their slaves and forced us into harsh and severe manual labor. But at that time, even our ancestors had no idea what the true objective of the Blue Nitro was. Their truly terrifying objective of awakening Neo. So in other words, he's creepy. Neo's a total creep. <laughs> Hold on, yo. 
Let me see. Um, but still, for flavor to increase through the cries of despair, I had no idea. Quit getting interested in him. Hey, Coco, I feel the same way, Coco. See, Coco's a good fan. Coco's a good fan. He understands, you know, and he wants to find out more. Well, as far as creatures go, I'd say he's as stand-up as they come. I guess you would, you would, wouldn't you? Being that you're pretty much the same species. Anyway, at least we know that he's a very hungry individual. As we're May Nights, it's a feeling we cannot comprehend. I'm sure he just hasn't been able to eat something that really satisfied me yet. Neo, that is. If he were to find it, maybe he'd really be fun. Uh, maybe he'd really be full and happy. That's true. That's very, very true. Because we see that he, his, his hunger, it was never ending. The beast inside of him, or at least he himself, what could he, his, hunger, his hunger could not be conquered no matter how much he ate. As a matter of fact, he, he wanted to experience, or, or um, experience, uh, experiment with different types of foods and different types of you know, he, he, with even with, with with the fear thing, like he he really was experimenting with a whole bunch of different things in order to get different flavors and whatnot, and just to see what it was that could make him fit that, that can finally fill him up. You know, yeah. So how about how, so how about you make it, kiddo? What I just told him about Neo and how terrifying he is. Hey, look, man, don't ever doubt the goats. And you look at them and their carefree reaction. <laughs> These guys are trolls. This really reminds me of the beginning of the series. Give me good nostalgia. It's almost as if they're getting ready to go to a picnic. Hell yeah, they are. Oh my. Area 2, bro. I have the airhead just in case. I had the damn airhead. Do you understand, Mira? The smallest, tiniest one single cell is showing us a completely different world. To Joe and Midra, a food paradise of infinite reach. Neo is teaching all that to Acacia. Not interested. <laughs> Mid Midra doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I, and there's a platter of a whole bunch of food. I have no interest in anything apart from the dining table that stretches one meter around me. Oh my. What a pity. Oh, and we see Joe. Uh, I love what Mitch is doing here with the eyes. With the shadowing too, man. It's, it's really, really cool. The way he's using these effects. Area 1, the law. Oh! Jiro! Oh! If they're not already dead, I'm calling bullshit. <laughs> I'm calling BS if, if, if at least. If, if, if one of them. If, if none of them have at least one limb missing, I'm calling BS or time hasn't moved since then. Alright, because Jiro is eating them. He's eating them alive. All right, screw anything else. Jiro is eating these. He's eating these bastards alive. Area one, the law of energy con con conservation. <laughs> Jiro's a savage. Does it does it exist here in a, in a way? Usually, when a gourmet cell is formed, the gourmet energy does not disappear. The total amount does not change, even though it can't be seen. The energy still continues to exist, floating somewhere. We gourmet cells are also able to revive ourselves countless times over because of that. But the cells that devour ne that that Neo devours are completely erased from this world. Oh my, man. yo, screw that! He's sending it to alternate dimensions. His belly itself is sent into the gourmet hole. I mean, it's over. Do you understand? If you're eating my Neo, you'll never be able to be to be. You'll never again be able to be revived. So, so it let so it. it <laughs> Yo! All you see is a stick figure. Hair is moving up. You see a little wiggly in the hands. You family, a little wiggly. Ah! Me, I'm the dude freaking Jiro. He, he, he looks like Jiro. Seriously, looks like one of those horrific things that you would look at in the night. Like, like there's a bunch of street lights looking down, and you can barely see anything. I, especially me, because I, I wear glasses. So I'm looking over there, and all I see is this figure of black with his white eyes staring at me. His hair is flaming up. I'm getting the hell out of there. So I'm, I'm just, what? Look at Jiro, and look at the power that's surrounding him. Are you listening, Jiro? I'm not talking about some little insignificant planet like this Earth. There's a very real possibility that gourmet cells will be lost on a galactic level. That is the true terror of Neo. <laughs> Are you trying to threaten me? Maybe. Oh, what is that face? Dude, what is this freaking face? This joke is scary. It's evil. It's malicious. It's, I love it. I love it. Maybe I should go and tell Neo the true way to apply terror, mother freaking Jiro. Yo, Jiro's a savage, son. Look at look at his face. Screw that, dude.
Look at Jiro's freaking face. Look at his sharp teeth. He, he, because the, the thing that makes this panel scary is that he's smiling, he's grinning, and then his eyes are like, because it's silly, but the silliness makes it horrific. It's like one of those old classic child uh, scary movies, like, like you're not supposed to be scared, but you are. It's truly terrifying. Mr. Toshi nailed that damn panel. And then here we see all oh, the gourmet nobles. Their limbs are still intact, but they're scared. <laughs> they're scared. It looks like talking is going to get us nowhere. Are they about to fight? Is Jiro about to lay the smack down? Hold on. Area 2. This is bad. What is Toriko? It's obvious, isn't it? I mean, the Earth's full course. It's so incredibly delicious that it can even revive people like that. Even God. Doesn't it get, doesn't it get your stomach just twinging with excitement, Star? That is true. That is extremely true, man. Let me see. I just have to wonder if Neo himself tastes any good. Ooh, okay, Toriko! What the hell are you talking about? That, that, that actually brings bring some good feels, man. Good feels. Like, like, so just overall good, uh, good, um, just, just overall great, great, it gives you really, really good, uh, really good vibes. That panel right here, I just have to wonder if New himself tastes any good. And here we see, is that the Dawn? The Dawn! Whoa! And he's up against the dude! Oh, snap! Here goes the one! <laughs> that's the fucking, that's the king of the ring, bro! Uh, how many billions of years has it been? Billions has it been? And now my computer's being froze. It's just like it was back then. Come on! Let me see. I'll smash you into little pieces. No! So just like it was back then? That's right. Because he ran to the strongest race of warriors. So he ran up against against freaking Dodd Slime, yo. A Neo lived to tell a tale. You have to give him that. Because a Battle of the Gods, Dawn versus Neo. Next you're getting Dawn versus Neo. It's gonna be over. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Before this, or, or uh, be well, this flashback too, but before the Area 6 stuff, I was not really that excited for Dawn Slime versus Neo. As hype as it probably was, I, I was looking forward to the other things more. But after getting the Dawn Slime flashback with Area 6, and after just seeing this flashback with Neo, let me have it, bro! Neo versus Don Slime. The scariest thing about it is that we know how powerful Don Slime is, but I guarantee you something's gonna happen here with Neo that we're gonna realize what true terror is because we never got the end of that story. So it's gonna be crazy. I wonder if we're gonna hear the rest of that story in the middle of this battle or maybe after the battle ends, you know, because the nightmare never ended. You know, or at least the, we know the nightmare continues, but at one point in time, you know, how did he get to the planet Earth? How did he get to Akasia? That is something we still need to find out. And I'm excited, dude. Look at freaking Neo. I mean, the, the Don Slime's laughing. He's punching the hell out of him. He's having a blast. That's why I love my guy. Overall, great sauce of a chapter this week. Uh, dude. No, because the thing is, I still wish the whole chapter would have been for the Neo flashback. But the fact that we got to see what's going around... And, um, and that, that, that made it really, really nice. I love the nostalgia that I got from seeing Sunny, Coco, uh, Komatsu, and Zebra together. That was really awesome. Uh, lo loving everything else that's going on. The Toriko panels give me good vibes. Can't wait to see Guinness again. The stuff with Jiro. Jiro's about to lead the smack down. That, that panel was insane! And then, when it comes to Midoriya and Joa, you can already tell that's about to go down as well. But here, next week, we're going to continue Dawn Slime versus Neo. And that should be one hell of a battle. You know, for 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 that for the world, for literally the world title, <laughs> because whoever wins this, basically that, that, that's that's where the world turns. If Neo loses, the world's saved. If 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 Neo wins, however, then damn it, they're they're still in danger. So, really 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 good stuff. I'm 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 really excited, and I can't wait for next week. I have a strange feeling that chapter 360 is going to be crazy. I think next week is not going to be... Oh, well, next week... Uh, every Toriko chapter is basically crazy. But next week, I think it's going to be a little easier. But 360 is going to be freaking insane. I'm calling it right now. I, I have I just have a strange feeling in the pit of my stomach that chapter 360 is going to be insane. I don't know who's going to be in it. I hope it's a Jiro chapter. But I have a feeling that that chapter is going to be completely and utterly insane. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's about to go down. But I, I, I can't get that... Just Neo, man, and the fact that he went up against all these dudes, all the strongest things that we know, he went up. He went up against a sa Satan hair, a guy with Satan hair. All right, and I'm going to assume that guy mastered Satan hair, and he lived to tell the tale. 
<laughs> he lived till till. And all those guys. Uh, well, actually, let me go back to that panel. Let me go back to that panel. Because the one in the middle really reminded me of a combination between Tengu and Zebra. But he, he looked he look kind of red, too. Like the red, red. Toriko's red oni. So let me see. I think it was page four. Was it page five? Let me see. I don't know, that, 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 that panel really intrigued me, man, just seeing all the, 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 the freaking strongest race of warriors in the planet, uh, or in the, in the universe. My computer's being extra slow, man. Extra slow. Oh, here it is. Okay, uh, whether it was getting caught in the great explosion, he survived a freaking explosion from a supernova, man, that's freaking insane. Or getting crushed in battle against a race, a superior race of warriors, you know, here we see Don Slime. And the guy in the middle, yo, it's strange because he really reminds me of, of, of the red, Toriko's red oni, but he also reminds me of a combination between Tengu and, um, and Zebra. Then there's the guy behind him that looks like, uh, where have I seen that thing before? I have a feeling I've seen that thing right, right behind him. He, he, like, it's like a fish type of creature. And then, then there, there was, there's the one over there, and there's the guy with the Satan hair, so I don't know. I, I'm interested. But those, I, I like all these, because there's four of them, man. There's four of them. Like, is this supposed to be Tor? That, that that's stuck in my mind. Is this supposed to be Toriko, Coco, Sunny, and Zebra? Is that what they're telling us? I mean, that that that's that's what I'm going to assume. But it, because that thing in the back, you know, even though I can't see his full face, I don't know. I, I just, no, you know, whatever, whatever. We'll we'll we'll, we'll continue. You guys have been awesome today. Toriko, awesome sauce for the win. I'm looking forward to next week. I'm calling it once again, chapter 360. It's going to be freaking insane. You guys have been awesome. Awesome day. Toriko greatness. We're in the next one where Neo versus Don Slime, the king of the ring. The battle's about to go down. And I'm excited. I can't wait.